Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome back to Motorsport Manager. We are playing uh, the career with Velen Racing. We are into season 8. We have done two races. Uh, we haven't had a great result so far, but hopefully things will change. Also, this year we don't have a contender, I mean a top car. So we are expected to finish around fifth. I'm hoping we can finish fourth. That would be a good achievement. But so far things are on target. We have finished uh, fourth in the two previous races, fourth as a team. And so yeah, we'll continue where we left off and head over to China for the third race. Hopefully Surikov will be back. He missed out the first two races through uh, illness. So hopefully he should be done Okay, his fever should be for another two days. He should recover and we can finally use him. So let's head over to, let's look at our mail first and then pole position, car condition update, interview. Well, let's see the interview. You attempted a quick quiz stop during last year's, uh, you already uncheck it size. Um, did they lose happiness? Pit crew review. I've written a quick report. We performed a total of five pit stops. Fastest was a second slower than our season record. We had two mistakes. Fortunately, they weren't dangerous. Okay, let's see the pit situation. Pit crew. Okay, so um, anybody need replacing? Zenari on the rear jack is he on the rear jack yes he is 54 of 74 so does this improve after the race does he need a bit of break to get his stamina back or do we need to rest him okay we have a guy who can step in so let's <coughs> swap those guys so we have two very fresh people here anybody this guy looks tired so uh, okay Zenari is also good at the tires so let's swap him yeah let's hope he recovers the other guy was very tired and what else can we do we have two guys on the rear jack we have a lot of people on the rear jack Let's see if we can find people who can swap the tires. 18. We need 18 on the tires. 18 or 20. No, we don't have any. Can we scout any? Nope. Okay, so anybody else who looks extra tired? 54. This guy is extra tired. Eggman. Okay, what we'll do is since there are 17 days to go. We'll have a look before heading out and see if. Yeah, Zenari made a mistake as well. Anyway, this is a new thing. It's not too complicated, but we'll have to find more drivers, uh, more uh, pit crew for the tire changes. Okay, car repair complete. Okay, let's look at the car and what is crucial for the next race. So, engine, gearbox, and brakes. Okay so our brakes are 60 okay we need to work engine gearbox 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 we haven't done anything to the rear wing now the thing is there's also the weight stripping thing so my guess is if we keep things at around 70 75 percent we shouldn't need to do any stripping because that would be what we would be aiming. So if we had 100% reliability, we would probably reduce it to around 70, 75. So that we can get some extra performance. So instead of doing that, why don't we just stop it at 75? So these things are about the same area. Okay, let's focus on the rear wing. Let's get the rear wing done. Let's also let them work on the brakes and these. Let's yeah, let's see if we can get all of these things to around 75. And then we'll see, we'll try and figure out how much we need. Because if we look at the engine right now, 77 and 76%. So I want to go to the race with this level of reliability and see how that affects during the race. <sighs> 
the other three things we need to bring them up to 75 once this is done then we'll focus on the performance and maybe building new parts we don't have a lot of money to do that okay so yeah let's continue more mail nikolai is feeling but just let you nikolai is contact us he's fully record okay good job uh if you hear some background noise i apologize there's a dog barking outside our sponsor situation hasn't improved okay cupcake yeah we'll have to change the cupcake because they pay us for finishing first so we that's unrealistic third or above is also unrealistic we yeah, we need better sponsors at least raise bonus sponsors top speed could we do some work on the car's top speed a new engine might help we are seriously lagging behind there and i feel like i'm getting left behind on the streets uh okay let's have a look yeah, engines are not cheap my friend so we only have good brakes basically overall we are seventh hmm we need to be around fifth <sighs> engine is engine and gearbox are eighth uh low speed car front wing is sixth yeah so basically our gear brakes are the only decent thing we have do we have enough to build something the engine will take a lot of time and a lot of money and we don't have either of those things yeah let's can we build something that can give us a bit of improvement mm, something cheap and quick so next race after china would be Tondela. Tondela needs a good care box and front wing. Front wing isn't too bad, I guess. Uh, care box, one million. We'll all be, only be able to make one of them. Okay, why not? Let's just build one for the time being. Mm. Yeah, I guess. So our current is here. This is slightly better. It'll take 10 days, so probably we won't be able to use it for Portugal. Okay, let's head over. We are in negative. Financially, we are struggling. Yeah, that 35 million for the factory that will pay us hopefully next year. Okay, our staff and crew are the best on track on the grid yeah sponsors are not bad i guess headquarters are second best drivers are fifth car is bad so apart from the car most other things are in decent shape we have been working hard to get the factory up to a good standard we have the infrastructure in place but uh the car is in there yeah don't worry about it Okay, let's see next race 42 lap race 40 percent chance of rain no i don't see it brakes okay we need good brakes we have good brakes so hopefully that could help us <sighs> okay on to china i'm a bit nervous see this is the problem we'll just select 13 so we get that 200,000. and tire selection okay this is medium tire wear last time cristiano had a hard time so we'll focus more on the harder tires at least for him if we can do two stints on the hard and one probably on the medium that would be ideal yeah so we'll have to work on the hard tire now i'm seriously considering uh promoting marlene because she's smoother and we are also trying to get her ready for the race seat as soon as possible she's a lot smoother and so we can use our strategy because my preferred strategy is to go long and use the tires as long as possible fewer stops that's where we tend to do well 
but with Cristiano. So let's go with hard and soft. That would be our strategy. Soft for the quali, hard for the race, and then maybe we'll use one medium. If if it rains, that could help us. Surikov is angry. Why? What the hell? Why is he unhappy about that? Uh, parts. He's happy. <laughs> I forgot how to change the car parts. Ah. Okay, so why is Surikov unhappy? You are okay. D O S T has the better thingy. Okay, he's a bit happier. He's still happy. <laughs> he's still only content. Parts are looking okay, so he's not as grumpy. Now he's just content. Yeah, okay. So we are just giving everything better. He's still not happy though. Yeah, he is a top driver, so he'll be a bit grumpier. How are all the parts better on one car? It's a bit unusual. Okay, because Cristiano hasn't exactly set the world alight. Even uh, Marlene was beating him. Despite the fact that now apparently he had all the better parts. I'll give the better parts to Surikov. I think that just makes sense. Okay, so head over to China. I did not pay attention. So Marlene was actually outperforming him with worse parts, which is quite impressive. Yeah, this was an interesting thing. She got a run of three races despite being the reserve driver. So she's getting a lot of time. And I also use her in practice constantly. So hopefully that helps her improve quickly. And if we can, have we finished, I think, the wind tunnel, if we can build the test track as well after we're done with the factory, that would also help the drivers improve. So we have a good sort of team, good setup for improving drivers, good infrastructure, basically. Yeah, this is the part I like about the game. So all these things, you can sort of look at a long-term picture as well. Okay, so we'll pick... Okay, I'll pick Marlene and because Surikov and Marlene are about the same. Let's check the car setup. So, I don't remember. Speed balance, probably slightly on the longer side. Yeah, we need hard tires, 17 to 19. This is a 42 lap race. So even with hard tires, we'll need three stops. Hmm. I think with him it'll be three stops on the hard tire. That's Surikov. We'll probably add a bit of downforce because we always need a bit. We'll leave this here and we'll try and go a bit shorter on the gear and see if that is more realistic. I mean not Surikov, Marlene. <laughs> okay, she's 19 to 21 laps, so still if we do two stints 19, yeah, two on the hard and one on the soft could be possible. Okay, as always, I'll see you after practice. We'll summarize and continue to qualifying. Welcome back. We finished practice and we had a very good practice session. The drivers finished 5th and 11th, which wasn't particularly great, but we got excellent setups all around. So three excellence on both cars. Everything went as smoothly as possible. Plenty of time actually, got level 3s on the tires and the sessions as well quite easily. We had enough time to sort of tweak our setup till we got 3 perfects, uh, 3 excellence. So yeah, could not have gone better. So on to qualifying. Okay, let's see, any chance of rain? No. Okay, so qualifying level 3, 
A qualifying level 3. I should have saved. So let me save. Because we, that was a perfect session. Should have saved. Okay. So let's look at that. Perfect purpose. And let's head to qualifying. Let's see how well we can do. And how well Surikov does after his... Okay, should we go out straight away and put a lap? Hmm. Okay, let's just go out and about now. So let's send out Surikov. He's a bit rusty. Tire choice will be soft, so nothing unusual. We have the best setup here. Let's give him about half a minute. Okay, let's send out Cristiano. Cristiano hasn't been doing well in the first two races, so... Okay guys, hurry up. Let's hope we get some clear track. So far it looks okay. Surikov starting. Oh no. I think it shouldn't affect his times. And he looks like he has a clean track, yep. And 1.4 of the pace. And what about Cristiano? Uh, 1.8 of the pace. Uh, 9 and 11, 9 and 12, 9 and 13, 11 and 14. Not looking good, not looking good. So when do we send them out? This is a shorter lap, 104. So about 130 should be fine if we so we'll have to send them out towards the end. So we'll send them out at 150 and 140 roughly. Okay. And out because we may need a few seconds to change the tires ah, only one second apparently and 10 seconds later okay guys i suppose if they can finish inside our objective that's not too bad but we'll need a better performance in the race i still want to finish in the top seven eight if possible somebody's actually gone on a medium tire so Surikov is in traffic but Cristiano looks like he's got a clear track yeah Surikov is in traffic but he's still going faster okay he's gone seventh brilliant okay he's up to 14 yeah he isn't a good qualifiers Cristiano but seven is good seven is good so Surikov is back and back doing well Rossini's are on pole so nothing surprised so we are only about a second okay 1.2 seconds of the pace it doesn't seem too bad considering our car isn't the greatest normally I would spend a lot more another 20 million more on the car and we would still be somewhere similar hmm yeah I guess it's not bad yeah, as always, save every session. Okay, on to race. Let's see what we can do. Beijing. Uh, they said 40% chance of rain. I don't see any rain. Nope, at least not initially. I'm hoping we can do this race without having to stop for repairs. If we can do that, then it will be good. So with uh, Cristiano, we definitely need him on the hard tire. 17 to 19. Let's say realistically he can do 15. So 42 lap race, we'll have to put him on three stints. And maybe two on... If we can squeeze out, say, 16 apiece, that's 32. If we can do 10 on these... It is doable. Two on the hard and one on the medium. 
Okay, fuel we can't do anything. With Surikov, we could do two on the medium and one on the hard. Can we? Say, let's say 12, 12, that's 24, and 18 on this. It's possible. Okay, what we could do is we could start on the hard. If we can do the 18 easily, then we'll switch them on the medium. If we can do, say, 12 comfortably or 13 possibly, then we'll put him on another medium. If he struggles to get 12, then we'll put him back on the hard. But initially, we'll start on the... <clears throat> so at the start, we will push a bit to get heat into the tires. So we'll not push on the fuel. Maybe we should for one or two laps. Because they tend to get uh, into crashes if we push them a bit too much. And we've had a very clean record with not crashing too many times. I think we've only had three or four crashes in all these years. Seven seasons, probably, maybe a few more. But very low. Usually one a season, maybe sometimes even less than that. Okay, so let's start the race. Let's see what... I'm not expecting too much. If we can finish seventh, that'll be good. Okay, Surikov is up to four. Wow. Surikov is hungry. Don't crash, buddy. Don't crash. Obviously, the cars around him are much faster, so they will pass him, but he had a good start. Yeah, try and hold on to seventh now. Uh, he's down to 14, so he hasn't changed. What is this penalty? What is this? That was a penalty, right? I don't know what that was. That was a new symbol I haven't seen before. Anyway, the guy in Kitano, Hashimoto. Hashimoto is Kitano these days? Yeah, Hashimoto is not good on the tires, so... Ah, oh, that's a woman actually. She used to be with Rossini. Okay, I need to know what that symbol was. Was it just overtaking or was it something else? Thing is probably just overtaking but obviously people ahead of Surikov are all on the slower tire I mean faster tire so that is good okay so we'll back off now the tires are warm enough with Cristiano we are probably going to go two on the hard one on the medium with Surikov possibly two on the medium one on the hard depending on how things are so far they are doing a good job, especially Surikov, considering he's on the harder tire. He's keeping uh, three cars on faster tires behind him, so, but not for long probably. Hamilton is quite close. The temperatures are falling. Okay, let's push the tires a bit. Yeah, tires seem to be cooling off quite quickly here. You're also running out of fuel, so I think this is hard on the fuel as well, this track. You're only a tiny bit off, so it should be green soon, yeah. Okay, he's keeping them behind, the medium tires. Those guys are getting affected. Might actually help Cristiano if he can close up. I think what they have done with the changes is they have made the cars more reliable, so people don't crash or retire as much. Charb has actually come out in front of Cristiano. That was a quick pit stop. So 6th place. Hashimoto in the pits. No, Hashimoto is not in pitting. Who pitted? Bergman. And De Graaf. So the car in front, so medium tires are pitting on lap 11 it seems, 10, 11, even 9 for some of them. So I'm guessing the Rossinis are not very good on the tires. So Surikov is up to 3. Two people in front are on the, okay let's back up on the tires now. Maybe push a bit on the fuel until the pit stops. We are targeting around uh, 15 or so. 
Cristiano is struggling to get 14 out of these tires. Yeah. Hmm. It's only lap 12. Okay, buddy. Ease up. We need to get at least 14. Otherwise, we won't be able to do this race. Surikov has got sharp. Surikov can handle himself for a few more laps. With Cristiano, he is getting quite thin. Repeat him this lap, or should we wait till the next? Because the tires will fall off, basically. Okay, this is lap 14, so we have to pit him. Okay, anything needs looking. No, things look fine. Should we do the fast stop? Uh, okay, so this is risky. Only one second we'll be saving. Yeah. How long is it going to take? Two seconds. So just do the safe stop. If we are not losing any time. See, total estimated two seconds. Two seconds. One second. So for one second. Now nah, let's just do the safe thing. Okay, he's also struggling on the tires. Okay, we'll have to pit him as well. So we'll have to give him the hard as well. If he can do 15, another 15, 30, 12, he should be able to do it. We'll give him another hard. Okay, pit stop. Two seconds. Yeah, let's do the two seconds. Let's be safe. See, even then it took them. They made a mistake. Not good, not good. Okay, better for Surikov. Okay. So he's up to 8. Cristiano is up to 14. So basically, more or less where we started. Started 7 and 14. Surikov is actually one place worse off. We'll have to make this middle stint work. Cristiano is really struggling. Surikov, just push a bit for one or two laps just to get the temperatures perfect. Fuel wise, we are still fine. He's three seconds behind um, Hashimoto. Bergman is probably going to pit as well with this medium tires. Yeah, realistically, this is. Hmm. This is probably where we'll finish, unless it rains or something. No, I don't see any rain. Hmm, can we do anything to make it... It... We'll need a sponsor that would pay us for finishing in the top 10. That's the first thing we need to do. Okay, I think we can back off on the tires. With him we can back off on both the things. He's still only 14 behind Lundquist. Yeah, last year he did pretty well. He was very consistent. This year, not so much. So Bergman is 9 after having pitted twice. Everybody else is only pitted once. De Graaf is in the pits. Okay, De Graaf has just come out in front. Hashimoto. Basically, we are fighting Hashimoto here. So, if you look at the pecking order, we have Rossini, Steinman, um, Panther, Vincer probably better than us. Yeah, we are fighting for fourth and fifth basically. Okay, Surikov, you can ease up a bit on the fuel now. Push a tiny bit on the tires. Yeah, with him we are only getting 14 laps on the hard tires. Maybe he might get a bit more this time. Maybe 15. But I don't think we can put him on the medium. We'll have to be 3 stints on the... Uh, so Hashimoto is pitted.
the wolf has pitted. Larsen and Schmidt are in the pits, but they are right at the back. We are 6 and 13, so... Yeah, I don't know what we can do here. Yeah, that's the problem with having a midfield car. Okay, somebody is in the pits repairing. That is the race leader. But we are so far behind. Actually, she's still in the pits. She's actually just come out right in, right behind us. Okay, well she's all over us. You can see the pace difference there. He's defending hard though. I like that. But okay, it wasn't going to last. Okay, back off on the tire. Push a bit on the fuel. You need to back off, buddy. Seriously. Okay, he's on lap 28. Yeah, let's just pit him. 15 remaining, including this one. So, yeah, he'll have to do three stints. Yeah, parts are looking fine. So, I hope others have to do some repairing. Mm, yeah, let's just be safe. One second is not going to change anything. Even in the world of Formula 1. Because we are not competing with anybody. Okay, let's see. Okay, good stop, good stop. We are still only 15th. Mm. Okay, buddy, we need you to finish on these tires. Okay, he is complaining about his tires. This is lap 4 30. Okay, we'll put him on the medium. We'll have to do this. Anything needs looking at? No. Ah, uh, yeah, let's do the safe pit stop. Yeah, push to the pits, buddy. We'll pause it just before he enters the pit. Okay, let's change the strategy to normal. Okay, let's go. Okay, good stop, good stop. I like that people, good stop. 8, so it is still 8. 8 and 14. Yeah, I think that's it. Everybody stopped twice. Although Bergman might have to stop again. Are you telling me there's any rain or something? No. Even De Graaf might have to pit. Uh huh. We could maybe make up one place. Should we push him? His tires are not that great. <sighs> 7 and 14. Yeah, Cristiano needs to get inside the objective at least. If he's not scoring any points, at least get inside the sponsor objective. Zoe Sharp has crashed. Oh, that is good. That is good. So we can actually make a place. And De Graaf has pitted using the crash. But he still come out in front. Where is Bergman? I thought Bergman was in front of us. Where is Bergman? I can't see him. Balcazar, Becker, Bergman. Yeah, Bergman is right behind us. So did we pass him on track? No, he's he's pitted. Okay. Okay, so Cristiano is also inside the... Okay, who is in seventh? Bergman. He is chasing us. Okay, let's push a bit. We can try and get to five here with Hashimoto. But again, Bergman is much faster than us. Hmm. We have the same set of tires, but you can see Kitano is better than us this year. Hashimoto on the harder tires. We should try and get them. Get him. Get her, I mean. Come on, get closer. Come on, buddy. Maybe that one second pit stops. That could have helped. Although if they had made a mistake. Come on, Surikov. We need you to do this on track. Good boy, good boy, get close, get close. He's leaving Bergman behind, that's good. Okay, and Hashimoto is spitting, so okay, no need, no need. Just back off. Okay, good job, good job. But again, Leponen is now more than 10 seconds clear, so I think fifth is, fifth is actually pretty good. 
Okay, something with the gearbox. Let's see. Okay, so this is a useful indicator. Our gearbox is now struggling towards the end of the race. And I believe we had not... Somebody else retired. Oh, somebody from the back. Nah, not useful. Hmm. Okay, so after this, when I check the video again, I'll see how much the um, condition was on the gearbox. I don't know if we checked. We're starting to have issues with the gearbox, although we haven't hit the red um, thingy. So it is in bad shape, but it will survive. 23%. Okay, people are finishing. Our tires are slightly better than the people finishing in front of us, so... Yeah, I guess, alright. With Surikov, he did a good job. Fifth. Good result, yeah. Definitely good result. Uh, we need Cristiano to start scoring some points as well. We need Cristiano to finish 9 and 10, and Surikov, if he can... Because Surikov is a good driver, so based on our car, he should have finished 9th. That would be realistic, but... He's uh, pulled off a fifth. Just a bit smoother. He can stay out a bit longer. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with fifth. In a completely dry race. Not bad. Okay. As far as the stripping of the weights is concerned, I think that's also pretty good because we did not run into any issues. So, I think we can stop working on the reliability and focus on the performance now or we can start building new parts okay yeah this is time penalty 10 second penalty to Hashimoto 10 second penalty to Bergman so yeah this is what I was looking at but they finished behind us anyway so it did not help us either way so Panthers and Rossini and Steinman of course so Steinman are the car to beat this time where is Sh oh sharp actually crashed so now marlene has still got the most points of the three drivers <laughs> so we are up to yeah we are still fifth and we need to be careful of resort to corsa and uh, we should try and catch to catch a panther the rossini and steinman are gone kitano are not that far ahead but yeah, we are struggling. We will have a hard time finishing fifth. Maybe if we get lucky, we might get fourth. But if we keep our performance, we should hold off Reza Corsa. So I think we'll finish fifth. Yeah. This is going to be a boring season, so we need to do something. Okay, boss is happy at 100%. We actually made some money. Hmm? Uh, 9, 10, and 12. Yeah, I'm seriously considering giving Marlene a go. Anyway, that is end of race 3. A decent result, I suppose. In 10 days, we go to Portugal, and we need good front wing, good acceleration. So, yeah, okay. That was race 3 of a Season 8. Hope you enjoyed it. It was an interesting race, I suppose. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you for event four.